Alright, so welcome to a new and improved Best of the Best Coaster edition here on the Coaster Poster channel. Yes, I have made improvements to this segment. It's kind of my original segment that I do here on the channel, so I'm trying to spruce it up so I can get some more views on it, so I hope you enjoy what I've done. We're going to start today with Daredevil Dive from Six Flags Over Georgia, their latest coaster. It is a Gerslauer Eurofighter, and I believe it's like one of the only ones at a Six Flags Park. Six Flags doesn't really do these, but they have this one, and it is certainly a very good ride. One of the better rides at the park, definitely better than Goliath, but still a very good ride. So we're going to move on now to the Swarm an international competitor out of Throat Park, which is in England. It is a B&M Wing Rider, again, really recent, 2012. The theming on this coaster is phenomenal. I really enjoy it. So this is what we're going to do now. This is a current result. I didn't do one after Daredevil Dive because, well, it was kind of obvious. But as of now, the Swarm has taken over Daredevil Dive. So we're going to be moving on here to our third coaster, the Raven. From Holiday World. Now I know a lot of people won't like me for putting this on because I usually do more of the cutting edge thrill rides, not the classics. But this ride is still really thrilling. I mean, come on, it goes over a lake. That's different. Got some good air time. Sends you into a tunnel. I mean, the stats aren't in favor of the ride, but it's still a very excellent ride. But it cannot overturn the other two. The Swarm will remain in first, Daredevil Dive in second. And the Raven in third as we head into our fourth and final competitor, Silver Star from Europa Park. A good B&M Hyper. 2002, so not ancient, but not recent. Um, very good. B&M Hypers are awesome, known for their airtime. And this ride does have some good airtime hills. It also has that kind of signature hammerhead turnaround that you can see in that picture there in the upper right that B&M Hypers usually have. So, will this be enough to overturn the Swarm? Yes, it will. Silver Star will be our winner in this battle. The Swarm will be second, Daredevil Dive third, and the Raven fourth. So we start to see some, uh, some promising competitors coming from our international coasters. This is one of the first ones. We've had a few International is lagging at the back of the trail, but these are definitely taking the front of the pack now. So, what did you think? Did you like the improvements? I mean, was this better than the other ones? Again, don't get mad because your favorite is at number one. Again, most of the opinion. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, i got a lot of videos coming. I've got some uh, free time coming here this week. I won't be as busy as I was last week, so you can expect to see some new videos coming. You can check out my blog, coasterposter41.blogspot.com. When I'm busy, the blog becomes easy updates for me, so you can definitely stay current with different news and rumors and stuff going on on the blog, if it's not necessarily on the channel. And again, keep calm and ride coasters.